This tutorial will provide you with a brief orientation to PubMed's interface. You should always access PubMed through the Gleason Library's website. From the home page, you can click on Databases, then Databases A to Z, select P for PubMed, and click on the PubMed link. Accessing PubMed through the library's website is important because it will make it easier for you to access the full text of articles from journals that USF subscribes to. This is the PubMed homepage. There are a few different ways to search PubMed. During this tutorial, we'll do a simple keyword search for diabetes and patient education and nurses. The results screen displays the article's titles, authors, publication information, and PubMed ID number with filters on the left-hand sidebar. If you'd like to see more information about your results, including the abstract, you can go up to Display Settings and click on Abstract. This will allow you to read articles abstracts as you scroll through your results list. When you find a citation you would like to save, you can click the box next to it and then click Send To and select Clipboard. The clipboard is a temporary storage place for citations. Items in the clipboard will be lost after 8 hours of inactivity or if you close your browser window. Each of these results is called a record. Let's take a look at a record in a little more detail. At the top, you see the article's publication information. To see the full, unabbreviated title of the journal, just hover over it with your mouse. Under that, you have the title of the article, the authors, and their affiliation. Below that, you have an abstract, and below that, the PubMed ID. The PubMed ID is a unique ID number for this article, which you can use to bring up this record in PubMed at any time. Finally, we have publication types and mesh terms. Publication types tells you this is a review, and mesh terms are essentially tags that have been applied to this article that tell you what the main themes are. For more information on mesh, watch the mesh tutorial. On the right side of the screen, you'll see similar articles. Similar articles are a great way to find related publications. Just above similar articles are icons that assist you in accessing the full text of the article. Generally, at least two icons are displayed. The icon from the publisher and USF's full text finder icon. You will want to use USF's full text finder icon to access the full text. When you click on the full text finder icon, you'll be presented with a page that tells you whether or not USF provides access to the article. A link under the full text section means we do have a subscription, and clicking on this link will take you out of PubMed to another resource where you'll be able to find the PDF. Let's look at another example. If when you click on the Full Text Finder link, you don't see the Full Text or Full Text Search option on the page, try the available options. If none of the available options work, it is likely we don't have a subscription to the journal in which the article was published. If this is the case, your best bet for accessing the article is ordering it through ILLiad, our interlibrary loan system. Thank you for watching this introduction to PubMed tutorial. For more information on searching PubMed, watch one of our other PubMed tutorials or contact a librarian.